Pack Two here in Nebraska. Wednesdays here on the program, we like to hear from a representative from the Farm Women's Group Common Ground. The group is working hard to get a positive message out to consumers about the world of conventional agriculture. So joining us now with more is Common Ground volunteer Don Caldwell, and thank you for being here today. Hey, yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. yeah, busy time for you. It, you know what, summer always is, all yeah. year is, but summer especially <laughs> it seems like. You have both kids going to school, going to college, yeah. right? Yeah, so we head off to college shortly and county fairs are happening and state fairs coming up oh. and, mm -hmm. and all the extra summer yard work, pasture work, everything that everything that happens right yeah. now. That's right. Well, let's talk about some of the fairs. Um, are you guys always involved with your county fair? We have been, I, I have been my whole life, my mom, my grandpa, so we're, my kids are at least fourth generation 4-H'ers and it's something we grew up with. I did extension right out of college, so they were, they were born. Katie was at a fair when she was three days old. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Do they show livestock too? They do. Mm -hmm. um, we've always done beef cattle and the big treat was, was to take swine the last year in 4-H and it was my fault we didn't do that before. I think that was the funnest project we ever did, oh, so good. we should have uh -huh. done it before. That's what we're involved with right now with Pick a Pig, so. There you go. Yeah. And so you know then what your kids are gaining from doing this. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, the responsibilities they learn. And so when people go to fairs, I just wish they would um, ask the kids, go up and ask, what did it take to get here? Mm -hmm. You know, how long have you been working on this? And it's, it's months, if not a whole year ahead of time. What I've noticed as well is the kids really learn a lot when they're doing these projects. Don't you think? Like, what are some of the things they learn? You know, they, I, I've seen all sorts of lists and blogs right now. It is the season for 4-H for blogs. And, um, you know, you see everything from responsibility to learning how to give something up. If it's a market animal, it's become somewhat yeah. of a pet, but with the understanding that, you know, it, it will become food, too, mm -hmm. for people. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, then there's the whole idea that if you have somewhere to go in the morning, your chores still have to be done first. And if you want your animal to be presented and be your teammate in the show ring, if you will, it takes hours of practice at home by yourself. And that's not always so fun. You know, if you have a sibling or parents that work with you, that's that's good. But it's a lot of time alone in the barn brushing and walking those animals and rinsing the, the steers and heifers every day or, you know, whatever you do with chickens. I don't know what chicken <laughs> kids do every day, but they have their projects as well. And this year, unfortunately, just posters to go to the fair. But, um, you know, there's, there's time spent with these critters to get them to look like they do when they get to fair, which is much different than what our cows in the pasture look like. Mm -hmm. and that's a good point you bring up. No chickens at the fair? No, which mm -hmm. is kind of disappointing. I always think they're they're sort of fun to look at, especially I feel safe when they're in a cage. I, I can do anything around cattle and I'm terrified of birds, so I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, know, but, um, I know some of the 4-H organizations though have done videos where they've shown their birds and brought them to the yeah, fair on a video. They record at home or they do a poster or the other thing they've done so they can do a real showmanship, which is the presentation of the bird and it's more about the kid than the animal. Um, they use a stuffed pretend chicken so mm -hmm. that the youth can go through the process of talking that bird and explaining the body parts and the functions mm -hmm. and um, food and those sorts of things. And don't you think too that 4-H really puts a positive image on farming? Absolutely, it does. And, and you know, everything from your kids have probably done this with their swine, then they have to go through a quality assurance process to be able yes. to show at the fair. So mm -hmm. they know how to give shots correctly. They know how to feed and water correctly. They know about proper temperature, if the animal's comfortable or not, um, loading and unloading, all those things. And um, so the kids know how to do things right. And, and that carries on if they become producers down the road, if they're going to have a hog farm or a cattle farm or mm -hmm. chickens, um, they know the correct way. And, and it they're presented so well um, when they do get to county fair the animals are all clean and they're well cared for and they're under fans and they get they get a pretty good life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the fair is a nice place mm -hmm. for all kinds of things That's it right. is good yeah. and a great place for anyone who doesn't know to challenge those kids and ask them questions yeah good mm -hmm. idea yeah like Don, thank you thank you Thanks, it's good Don, to have for you. being here today all right